Zach wanted to capture some events in his life and relay that message and put this on a snare drum all the way around it. So every aspect of this drum has a meaning and it's got a really special story about the Wash Hole Club. I mean, he actually works there and he's gonna get this, these famous ghost hunters to sign this drum. And we're gonna tell you a little bit more about his account. We're gonna talk about ghosts on this episode. We're gonna talk about um, spirits. We're gonna talk about this drum in particular, the sound of it, the construction of it, how we designed it. Um, the sound of it. We're even going to sample it at the end of it. And then we're going to put it to music as well, too, in this episode of The Process. So, if you're into paranormal activity, the dead, you might want to hang around to this episode here. We've got a really cool story. Um, that involves the Washoe Club. You know, I'm not going to lie to you. This drum had a spookiness about it from the beginning. I guess what I really loved about this project is that every single bit of this drum had a meaning had it meant something every aspect of it down to the sound the construction of it um, reinforcing the, the shell you know first you know this is a different type of shell right here this is a segmented oak pine the center parts are pine staggered laminated uh, individual cut pieces of uh, pine wood the the top is going to be segmented oak and we married these this wood type together and it really had a unique sound um, in this episode we're going to talk about the sound of this drum and I feel like really more importantly than the sound you know the meaning of this drum what's behind it I had the privilege to sample this beauty and we're going to talk about the sounds of this thing uh, me and Zach had a really interesting conversation about every aspect of this thing. I want to welcome Zach and Colin to the podcast. Let's do it. So, Zach, I want you to tell me a little bit about this drum. Let's start at the cemetery. So, the cemetery goes way back to when um, first went. So, back in 2010. The very first time we rolled up to Virginia City, um, there was a massive... I'll kind of go into detail with everything as I um, talk about that, too. But um, that's where the lightning bolts come in, um, because there was a thunderstorm when we pulled up. And then I remember us checking into a hotel, and they had an indoor pool, which was closed at the time we showed up. And basically what happened is they said if we can stay if we are really quiet we can swim in the pool and so we, me and my brother were both very quiet and we got to swim in the pool after hours for i don't know half hour and then the next day we basically just roamed around the whole town of virginia city and explored did our own um ghost hunt and stuff mm -hmm. And we stopped into the Washoe Club, which is where I'm currently working today. And um, basically, they let me and my brother sit at the bar and drink root beers while my parents were drinking their alcohol and stuff. <laughs> we did our own little investigations in the back and, you know, did the ghost tours and stuff. So that's where the Washoe Club comes in, the lightning bolts, um, the cemetery. I remember we were walking into the cemetery. We had our ghost meter that my dad just bought me. And uh, it went up a couple times. And so that was kind of a cool experience since we were outdoors. There's nothing to make it go off. Yeah. So my interest in the paranormal and put it on something that I do, something different that I do, which is really cool to put all that 
that step onto a musical instrument and, you know, destroy silence with it pretty much. If you want to hear more about this, we're going to show you, we're going to have a link in the description with the podcast to kind of go into more depth about this. Now let's hear what it sounds like. This is low tuning here. Okay, I'm going to slow this loop down to about 30% and see how it sounds. Definitely has a lot of sizzle added to it. This is going to be a mid-range tuning. Um, definitely kind of decays pretty quickly. This here is kind of like a medium high. All right, I'm going to slow this down to about 20. I'm going to slow this down about 30%. Let's see how it sounds. Believe it or not, I feel like this drum really kind of wants to be tuned on higher. Like it's really wanting to kind of go. Let's see how it goes on the higher register. Okay, let's hear it again. Okay, let's slow this one down here to about 25%. I really love this. You can hear the harmonics in the drum on when you slow it down. Okay, let's go a little higher now. Yeah, let's let's really um let's hear that again. Ouch! Oh my gosh, this thing cuts. Yeah, I think this is a great sounding drum. I think it really did. By putting those re-rings in it, I think it really brought it up a pitch. Um, it almost kind of makes this, the drum kind of be a little bit more resonant. Um, but at the same time, you know, when you add mass to a shell, you know, the more mass to the shell, the less that drum is going to resonate. The lighter, normally the lighter the drum is, the, the more that it resonates. Okay? But here, it seems like with those re-rings and just adding some mass to it, and then all the extra stuff we put on it all this stuff matters you know we've got a 45 outside or a 45 inside going into it i call it a vintage round over and it's basically the the drum is that 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 head is actually kind of rounded on the outside um about three six tenths of an inch going into a real sharp 45 point um all the way around i thought that was going to be really different but overall, this is a very, very versatile drum. The recording that we used with this thing, we actually decided to go with like a lower tuning. I'm just going to play that right now. Here's the sample, and here's the sound with music. Now I'm going to put all of them together and see how they sound. I just want to say, whatever inspires you, whatever motivates you to move forward, do that. Whatever inspires you to make music, do that.